Welcome back. I'm just going to go through this setup stuff so you can have a look. Okay, we've got a new flat gun. And we've discovered light aircraft, which is good. We've completed side skirts. We've discovered water soil uh, recomposition, which is amazing. Um, oh, actually, no, actually, this is... A <laughs> I was thinking about a different game. <laughs> um, I'll tell you why I got confused in a minute. Um, oh, we found a cloning facility. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Right, that's really going to help. Really, really going to help. Okay, um... Oh man, right, before we do any, before I even explain what's been going on, I'm going to play that card because that is like really a really good card. So let's go to zones and we're going to put in that loading facility in high peak. Okay, that is going to give us loads and loads of pop every turn. I think it's a thousand. I think it gives you a thousand every turn. Or is it a hundred? I can't remember how much it gives you anyway, but it's a it's a decent amount. Um, in fact, let's go and have a look at that loading facility. Oh no, that's the brothel. Use a turbine. Ba -da -ba -bum. Am I in the right one? No, that's Clyde. Uh, there we are. Oh. Yeah, 1,000 pop. So every turn it produces 1,000 pop. This is great. So you're basically getting free population, which immediately translates into indu into industrial points, or more likely by the this point of the game, you want to be putting it into recruits. Okay, um... The last two episodes, or the last two turns, I didn't record. So we're actually on um, round 56. Nothing happened um, of any note other than just building a few things, finding a few techs. Um, so I apologise for that. I've just been really busy. I've been busy at work. And looking back at it, I probably could have recorded them. It would have taken about as long to record as it would have been to play them. But um, I've I'm started a new job and I've just been absolutely wrecked. So apologies about that, guys. Um, it's just, you know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you're just busy. So, uh, yeah, not a lot has happened. I've mostly um, just been continuing with the plan to industrialize. I have built another couple of uh, brigades. So we've now got the 6th Machine Gun Infantry Brigade, which are a motorized... Oh, sorry. Where are we? Yeah, I think it's the 6th. All right. No, this is the 8th. Here we go, sorry. So we've got the 8th Machine Gun Infantry Brigade... Oh, motorized light infantry. So these guys are a light infantry brigade and they're motorized. Um, I want those for fast, for being able to take and hold stuff quickly. And I've given, I've made them a light infantry brigade because uh, I want, I want them to be better on attack than defense. Particularly, uh, they can be useful for taking and holding territory uh, very fast. I've also bought, got another one here. So we've got the, uh, the seventh here. So we bought, we got the seventh and the eighth basically. Now I noticed that Kale was kind of bought, building up on our borders. And I, I kind of, you know, I said to him, I noticed you're building up on borders. And he's like, well, you know, I, I, I do need to build. Oh, what's he got here? Oh, he's got turbo pop stuff. Okay, so yeah, he's basically said, well, I do need to build troops, you know, and where are they going to go? Should I just put them in my cities or should I put them on the border? And I was like, okay, that's fair enough. But just understand that I do see that as a military build up. So I'm going to build up too. Okay, I built some flak. Uh, there are a couple of models that we got. Let me just have a look. I'm trying to remember what it was that we, we got here. Um, I built this assault gun, I think. So the assault gun is alright. Yeah, it's, you know, passable. Um, I built another flat gun as well. And this one's pretty good. Yeah, this one's pretty good, look. Uh, this is a flat gun, so let me just show you what it's got. Uh, twin 100mm um, SHV AA guns, and it's got combat armor. These these are going to be my main flat guns. I, w I'm, I want to make sure that I am unassailable from the air. And interestingly, I've just noticed that Kale's actually starting to build aircraft now, so we need to start re uh, responding in kind uh, as soon as possible. I've got plenty of money, and my industry's going up pretty quick. Uh, I've been building light industry, uh, light industry everywhere. So my industrial... I mean, I'm building loads of stuff, by the way, and our industrial points are still going up in a big way, so... Um, metal, it's going to be metal and industry that, is, that are going to be lagging. Look, look how much stuff I'm building, and I'm still in the in the green with regards to um, industrial points. Metal is a bit rough at the moment. I, I actually sold some last turn. I sold some of my. I sold about 500 rare metals, and I bought a bunch of um, normal metals with it just to help ease this because I am actually a little bit low on metals. Um, every turn, I want to be putting out. 
as many units as I can now. Uh, we've got to that point of the game where... <clears throat> What are we on? We, yeah, we're like turn round 56. We're about a third of the way into the game, I'd say. God, it's been a long game, but um, it's going to be a long. It's going to be a long game by the end of it. Uh, but that. Oh, look, we found some metal. Look at this. Where are we? Level six. Right. Let's get a dirt road out there, and let's get that built. I'm going to do that before I forget. Uh, that doesn't take any metal either. So it's going to be industrial points, which means that we'll be able to get some more metal mining up. Um, and it's going to be coming out of silver range there. Okay. Um, yeah, what else did I do? That's about it. I, I don't think there's a whole lot more going on. I think I might have built this RPG model. I don't know if you saw this one. Um, this is a good model. Uh, it's got a good structural design at least. Weapon's a little, you know, not great, but it's okay. Uh, so, yeah. Everything, everything else is pretty is pretty standard, I'd say. So let's have a look what we've got in the uh, what happened in the history. I don't think there's a whole lot to show. Yeah, I've I've got some people pushing in on me on that end, over on that side. Then these guys are trying to push out of this uh, pocket here. So let's have a look at what's going on over here because it looks like we've got we push. Yeah, we've got someone pushing in. Let's get these guys down here. Uh, th those guys are going to die now. They're, they're, they've not got any supply. Suppose I can get really, really expensive industrial points though to get this road up. Going across that bridge. It's going across there. You see. Yeah, it's expensive industrial points, but we need to do it because otherwise we're going to lose those troops. Looks like we're going to lose them anyway. They've been cut off. Um, ah, that's not good. Okay, it's only some militia. It's not really the end of the world. Um, what else can we do up here? Okay, we've got some guns. Métis guns. I think I need to get some of these troops over here. Oh yeah, I also built a... What was this? This is a, um, a light infantry brigade. Why are you using light infantry over machine gun infantry? Okay, right, I'm going to answer that question because I know people are going to be asking it. Um, I don't think that constantly building, just spamming out um, machine gun infantry brigade is necessarily the best thing to do. Light infantry are much better in attack. And so, um, yes, I understand that people think that you shouldn't be using light infantry. You shouldn't be using the infantry on the attack. I disagree. I think infantry are really, really good in this game. They're excellent over all kinds of different terrain. And sometimes that's what you need. You don't, You don't necessarily want to be... You can't use tanks like this. Ter this terrain look. Tanks are useless in this kind of terrain. You need infantry, and ma machine gun infantry just aren't as good on the attack as like as the other infantry types. So, yeah, I spent some um, industrial points last turn getting some, uh, getting some roads into these mountains because I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to kind of get around Kale here. Now there seems to be a bit of a bug in the game where I'm having to declare war on the same faction every single turn. It's really weird. I'm not quite sure why that's why that's happening, um, but this faction here, these these Queen's Rebels, every single turn I'm having to having to invade them. It's really weird. These guys need to just get into supply for a turn. Get those guys up there. Uh, get those guys in the green because oh, I, I want to hold this this place here. I did well. I, I was. I, I could have left that to Kale, but I don't want to. I'll, I'd like to get. I'd like to get around here if I can, and I might be able to get around. I think he's got a better chance of getting around here before me, um, unless I s spend some significant resources. National allocation budgets. Um, it's all looking good to me. I might just drop down staff council a bit. And theory council a little bit more, and I'm going to put some more into air, air force now. Because I think Air Force Council is going to be uh, air, air power is going to be useful. Oh, by the way, I did get um, Gauss rifles now, so we can actually make a new model um, of inf uh, of of infantry. Okay, um, advanced sensors. I want next. Let's go for another infantry model, and we're just going to go straight for the Gauss rifle now and start getting these Ga yeah. Gauss rifle with combat armor out. Aaron Ford packs wants a cultural exchange. These guys don't like being friends with these guys. I don't know why. 
Um, I'm up for it though. Yeah, these guys are being warhawks. They don't want it. Who's this? This is my director of military research. Yeah, I need to make him happy. Just refuse the cultural exchange for now. Uh, okay, we need to get commander. Yeah. This guy's cap four. Got no command rating though. This guy would be really, really good in another place. However, he has got a high war rating. He would learn fairly quick. Um. Yeah. Kind of want him. He'd be better off as a, yeah, as a leader, I reckon. And you know, intimidate, interrogation. Patient stratagem. Governors. Uh, okay. This guy might make a good governor. So, Cobb Turnavoid. Where maybe we can put him in. Got this one here. AC Vickers. Yeah, I, I'll just keep him. I'll just keep make him an OHQ guy. I'm kind of. I've got quite a lot of decent commanders, and I, to be honest, I don't really want to be messing around too much. Oh, we got some more. We got some more metal here. Look, I didn't. I didn't notice this. One. Level seven. I can't remember which is easiest to get out. I think one is easier than than nine. I can. I can never remember which way it is. Okay. Um. Okay. These guys. This this town now that I that we. That we managed to confederate. They're starting to get some supplies now, which is good. Let's just leave that as it is. I'm probably going to put these ones. Let's get them on this border here. Okay. Um. What else is there to do? Not a whole lot. I, I think um, we're building a lot of stuff at the moment. We can't really afford to build any more. Um, I might see if I can trade for some metals. Our metals are really expensive though at the moment. Um, yeah, and the, the price of rares has dropped. It looks like people are selling rare metals, including myself. Um, fuel we don't want to sell. We want to. We don't want to hold on to that as much as possible. Um, but yeah, now the, the traders have actually got some credits. For a while, I think the other guys had kind of like. Uh, drained all the traders credits basically so we weren't we didn't have any uh there was the traders had nothing to buy uh, nothing to buy and sell with so i actually stimulated the economy a little bit there and I, I do wonder if the other guys might have done that too uh we've got some missing troops in this uh, battalion here yeah i think i'm gonna leave these i'm gonna leave the fourth here i'll just stick them on stick them on this road and just keep some troops on this border. This is Empire of Man now. Um, I don't need to, the Tribes of Man. Sorry. Let's see what uh, hides got up here? Not building industry two. Two one. Um, not a lot there. Aaron Fort outposts. Officers one, lots of oil drills, metal mines, metal mine two. Yeah, I, I, at least from what I'm seeing here, it doesn't look like he's with that well industrially developed. So interesting. It's interesting. Ah, hold on. Midway. That's his main play. Perth. <laughs> it's funny because the guy that I'm playing is an Aussie son. Not surprised he's called it that, unless that's what it was already called. Um, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of industry up that I can see. Yeah, there's a better way of doing this, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm slipping back into bad habits. So <clears throat> if we go to Tribes of Man overview, it won't be this one actually. No, it will be trade details, military. It'll be economy details. There we are. industry he's got four industry and now that's not including anything else he's got up 
um, you know, with regards to, say, like auto factories, you know, stratagem cards that he's played or um, fake fake cards or anything like that. But I'm not worried about that. Like, I'm if you if you actually look at mine, <clears throat> let's try and remember how you do it on our screen. Uh, where is it? Probably going to be in zones. Yeah, so you'd you'd have to look in each zone, but you'd be able to see. Um, I've got loads and loads of industry is what I'm trying to say. So high peak, for example, I've actually got um, industry three and I've got industry four going up already. Um, I think. Did I put industry four up? No. Oh gosh, we're we're short on we're short on workers. What's going on here? High peak. Yeah, we just need to take more from the population. So, yeah, that's why we're, they're they're just gradually catching up. Um, let's send some more colonists down to border fort. Oh no, maybe I will send it to here actually. Was it here? Riggins. Send some. We'll send a bunch of workers over. Because uh, we've got a metal mine going up. Yes, we are short of workers here too. So yeah, I'm, I'm putting up uh, barracks everywhere pretty much. I'm trying to get my security score up so that um, it's more difficult for my opponents to get spies in and keep spies in. So I'm just going to keep building barracks as a priority. Um, and just keeping building, you know, every turn I'm just raising a few formations, whether it's just a black battery or, you know, infantry or just something. Like everything has a use in this game. Well... You know, most most things have got have got a use. Um, you definitely want things like anti tanks and just you, you know you're not going to go wrong with stuff like RPGs later on when they're a little bit better developed. So yeah, that's about it, folks. There's not really much more to do. I, I think as far as expansion is concerned, yeah. I mean, I'll just invade these guys yet again. Just attack into them. Yeah, these guys are absolutely wrecked. Look, there we go. We defeated them. So. Um, we should be able to we should be able to kind of like start breaking through this way i just need to get some roads that way um if nothing else i at least want to be able to hold these mountains um so i've got like a there's no mountain border here so this is i think if kale it was going to invade us this would be a good way for him to come up and then he can kind of threaten going across these mountains here these mountains are going to be hell for him to get through though um the, so you know he'd have to come through this way and this way and try and pincer, pincer attack me i've got to when i could when it comes to figuring out a plan I've got to take that into account. By the way, this volcano this volcano is going to be something that we want to get. Um, I wonder if I can actually... Did I get the volcano stuff here? Yes, volcanic energy plant, look. So four rounds. It's, it takes high-tech parts, um, but it's 500 energy. Look, this is like a really good... This is a really good uh, little power plant. Once I've spent a few more turns building stuff up, I'm going to go for that next, I think. Yeah, I um, at some point soon i need to start thinking about what I, you know plans for defending my borders i need to have troops along my whole along all of this border so i need to be able to raise enough brigades so that even in areas where it's kind of like you know relatively like you know care's got nothing for example here i want i need at least a brigade you know like three here a couple here just so that i've got something you can you can rapidly redirect troops but that's not, you know, that can be too late by the time somebody's got into your territory. So yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. That's all I'm going to do here. I don't, I don't really need to move much more. Bring these tanks back. I need these here. These fifth, I want to get some replacement troops for them. And then eventually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some funds aside and refit all my troops so that we we are using the Gauss rifles when they come out. Um, the Phoenix Legion, if I remember right, are fielding some pretty good troops by now. Those are militias. They're they're not a good way of looking at. It, but still using his still using these rifles with slug, uh, slug throwers. I know he's I know he's got Gauss technology, so I don't think I do wonder if he's waiting for an attack before he starts refitting them. Are oh, these Phoenix Legionnaires? Here we go. These are the ones with Gauss Rifles, look. There's some have got the Gauss Rifles, some haven't. Um, 
Yeah, I kind of need to... Yeah, I'm not going to do that yet because it's just a waste. We're going to have to do it again for the Gauss Rifle anyway. I think what I'm going to do is, like, I'm just going to get my troops into a decent state. He doesn't show any signs of wanting to attack me. He knows that he's got to go to war soon and it's going to have to be with me. I don't think he can... I don't think he can easily sustain a war with Tribes of Man. I'm in a precarious situation here, I think, because I think what's... I, if it was me, right, whoever went to war first, I would then pick on their target and attack them too. Or I would attack them and create a three-way war and then just rely on, you know, being able to win that war. Uh, that's that's the two options you've got. If you just sit there and let them duke it out, one of them is going to win eventually. Um, so let's just go to the victory overview. Okay, Tribes of Man has got a lot of planet. That's why his score's high. I think that's artificially inflated. Um, I don't think having that much territory is actually that useful with, with some of the territory that he's got. Um, I think I've got better ter I think I've got better terrain to defend. Actually, I've got all this, you know, all these areas here that I can start leveraging. Really, I, these guys would be crazy not to attack me. I think. I think if they leave me to, you know, to keep developing. I have got a real advantage in the terrain and with what I've got and the fact that I've got alliance packs with these with the two AIs. I mean, I'm in a really strong position here and the the victory overview view doesn't really state this. Do not underestimate battle mode's ability to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory though. So I'm not going to rest on my laurels. This is going to be an interesting diplomatic game now because I need to somehow cause a war between tribes of man and phoenix legion if i can that would be ideal for me because then i can carry on building up while they're fighting and then pick a target and go for them um if i had to pick a single target i don't know like tribes of man's got less stuff to take and i've got a really extend a long way into this whereas phoenix legion you know i've got all these tasty places just within reach the problem is that getting this is a tough water fight um this is a tough war to fight, I'd say. On the other hand, it's, this is loads easier for me to defend than it would be to defend um, against... I mean, this is not bad luck. We've got all this forest. This is what I'm saying. Like, I don't think Hyde could defend all this territory if I attacked him with, with decent enough forces. Like, he's got he's got no terrain, look. I could take vast tracks, vast swathes of territory. Um, it's not... The, the same could not be said to, uh, for Kale's lands here. I think this... This is going to be more difficult to take because he can just sit and hold up. You know, like infantry, right? They can just disappear off into these mountains and you, you've got to deal with them. If you don't, they just pop back up, cut your supply lines. So you can't just kind of like, you know, blitzkrieg through and, you know, unless you destroy everything along with you uh, because you have to, you, you've got to defeat any rogue elements that are just going to be sitting around, playing a guerrilla war, popping out. Obviously, if you can cut their supply lines, then that's the way to go about it but it's not that easy unless you you're able to defeat him now unless you're able to defeat him on mass um i do I, I don't know i think if i was going to go to war this would be the one to go for because i can take a lot of victory points very very fast like you know if i can get down to here he's not gonna he's not gonna defend this do you see what i mean like once he, i've got through this this is gonna be the hard bit to defeat to get through to penetrate but if I can penetrate the defences and this rough terrain, and then once I'm into this area, it's easy pickings. Anybody fighting into my territory is, apart from like this kind of area, is most it's going to be hell for them. It's going to be hell because if I lose like this place, well, I can just fall back here and defend here, and I will give. I'm happy to give up a crappy town, you know, town or a village or something, so that I can form a better battle line and if I most of my industry is concentrated around you know a few cities like here and here which is what I'm kind of doing like this one this one and this one is these are going to be my sort of industrial base and what I've got you know I've got AI neighbors who are friendly on this side who are not you know going to be bothering me I don't even have to defend this area so yeah I don't know I'm just going to keep building up military I'm going to build up a massive massive military in tandem with you know, a decent industrial expansion. Okay, folks, that's going to be it. I shall catch you next time.